Today I'm taking you along with me to buy some quilting cottons. Just got it delivered. Excited to share. Let's open these up together and let's have a look. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from liftingpinsandneedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing. You just saw me downstairs collecting my box. I'm so happy I have this filming room that I can just set up in like one second and be ready to film whenever because I had been waiting for this package to arrive for plenty of days. <laughs> a few weeks ago, I traveled to Sao Paulo in Brazil to a humongous craft expo called Mega Artesanal. And I was on the lookout for sources where I could find really nice quality quilting cottons that would work for garment construction. So not all the qualities are the same, you know, I saw a lot of brands, a lot of different vendors, and I was just looking for one that would have what I needed, and I did find one. I bought one piece in that opportunity, I really like the quality, and a few days ago you would have seen my Presto tunic from Love Notions I made in that quilting cotton. There's a brand here called Henata Blanco that makes amazing digital prints, and I got all their details, their website, everything, and I was just so happy to go and look there online and find much, much more. On the day of the craft expo, it was so full, the queues were so long, there were just so many people, I just couldn't take the time to relax and just really, really look at the prints in calmness, which I usually need when I want to prick fabric. So I knew I was going to be able to do that online. Let's go back to the past, maybe 10 days ago when I went online and ordered these fabrics. Maybe you want to see a little bit of the process. I want to take you shopping with me so you can see my pics and I've got them here. So once we see the fabric shopping bit, we'll come back to the present to see them but now let's go back to the past. I'm just getting ready to browse and look around see what lovely prints I can find. Local website here from Brazil that specializes in quilting cotton, cotton that's good for any type of crafting, bags, quilts. So I just want to take you along and let's look at some prints. Maybe I'll just discuss why some are more appealing to me than others. It might give you some ideas. Just want to take you shopping with me. So this is how this website looks. It's called Renata Blanco. And I can see there's some Black Friday sales going on. So that's nice. Here on the first page, you see some new prints. Let's see some tiles, stripes. I'm not going to look at dolls and ballet. Butterflies, maybe. Things for boys. Dog things. Cactuses. I don't know. Let's see. Animals. Mm, let's just have a browse. Let's just have a browse. I'm trying to find prints that are going to work for garment sewing, so I'm not looking for novelty prints or like food prints like they have here. <laughs> Girly prints, Christmas, no way. These tile prints are pretty, but I think they're just way too colorful. Like, look at these smiley faces right here. It's not anything I would want to make any clothes with, at least with these colors. These will be okay for pockets or things that go inside clothes. I think stripes are a bit more appealing. It's just about finding the colors that you like. These are all digital prints, so you can basically see here the digital design of it, not the actual photo of the fabric. This is nice. I would like this, like if I made blue linen things, jackets, that would be a really nice fabric to put inside. Yeah, I think it's just way too colorful. I'm not saying they're ugly, I'm just thinking out loud here. <laughs> I don't know what I'll end up with. I hope I find things I like. I love that green. Oh my gosh, look at that green and caramel colors there. A little bit of glitter. So this would be amazing as something that would match the fabrics inside of a jacket or something for an inner yoke, waistband, that sort of thing. Butterfly prints. Okay, so there's not many. I think they're really colorful. This one I'm drawn to. Let's just open this up and see it. I think from far away, it looks like an animal type of print. You can't really tell it's butterflies in your face. And I really love the beige tones with the blacks and a bit of turquoise. Ah, uh, this is a fabric I really like. I really like this one. Let's put this in the shopping cart. Anything I like, I'm just going to put it in the shopping cart. Then uh, at the end, I'll weed out what I really don't want, but I really like that one for sure. I can see that as a type of pencil skirt, maybe. Cactus prints, no. You know, they're pretty, but no, not for clothes. Not at, not at this point. Okay, see, we have some paisley prints. I usually do like paisley, but not in bright colors like this. This is really, really beautiful, but I wouldn't make garments out of that. I'd put that inside clothes, animals. See, this is the thing. If you buy anything with birds or animals that are directional, I think it's really limiting and it makes you uh, spend more fabric. Yeah, I'm, I'm not keen. I'm not keen on anything animal or bird or anything like that. Now these leafy prints, this is where I think I could find something maybe. Keep an open mind. Very, very bright prints as well. Oh, I like this one. 
let's open that one up i'm just gonna browse open things up and see look this is really pretty right here lemon print i know a lot of people have sewn clothes with lemons but it's not my style at all these are super pretty i mean these prints are beautiful look at these flamingos right there right there see that's that's just type of thing I don't want on my clothes. I think it's super cute. I think the prints and the colors are amazing. I did like this one because it's got a red background with a turquoise. This is a type of color combination I really, really like. I think it's really pretty. And I would make something small, like just a sleeveless top, something fresh, something nice that I could wear with red pants. I think that would be a cool outfit. I really like this one. I could totally see this as a garment. So let's put that in the shopping trolley. And then the other one I had liked was this one. Just thinking that I have a linen skirt in this type of turquoise i would look for the toned down colors in this print to pair it to something so i think a top in this one would be super nice so let's just put that in the shopping trolley frida yeah these these are just not my style geometric more lemon prints oh look this is pretty they sometimes have pictures of items like samples made up with the fabric i think that's helpful i think that's a cute bag but i wouldn't wear a bag with lemons when i mention i think something's cute and beautiful i think aesthetically i'm drawn to it it's pretty but it's different to what i would actually wear on myself and make garments with whales butterflies why are they here in the geometric section this is not geometric look at all these uh, look seahorses <laughs> look foxes uh, this is super cute those foxes are cute but again not looking for things that are a bit animal or novelty i was i had more hopes on the geometric prints for some reason i thought i'd i would definitely find something here but so far not really look this is something i would put inside clothes i think it would look stunning inside these colors here yeah this is a really pretty print i would definitely put inside my clothes pretty enough that i'm gonna put it in the shopping trolley but we shall see look at this plaid in a ton of colors no way thank you this looks a bit like houndstooth but with a lot of colors i think the bag looks really cute look at that swirly one yeah i think this would be difficult placing around the bust area with these hexagon type of shapes so i will pass on that although i'm always drawn to black and white types of fabric look at this cat fabric yeah <laughs> yeah i'm not sure about these i think they're hard to cut and you definitely sometimes want to pattern match these because the it would not be cool to like split one of these in half none of those caught my eye retro prints i don't know what's retro about these fish no fish no not no fish for me <laughs> now the floral section is the biggest one and i hope i can find something here I'm not going to take that much time looking around. I pretty much know if I like something very quickly. I'm someone that makes really quick decisions. Especially when fabrics are involved, I sort of have an eye for it. Okay, look at this. This is something I like. I'm just going to open up the ones that I like and then have a look closer up. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is called Photograph and it looks like they just took a picture of flowers. Okay, so I've scrolled through 12 pages here, 138 prints. And I found two that I liked, or three, I think. This is really nice. I would make a skirt out of this fabric. You know, I think the scale of the print is a bit larger. I think the background looks a bit like denim wood, the tone. And then these are the colors. I really like them. So I think a skirt would be nice with this fabric. And then with a solid top. I don't know. I, I'm just really drawn to it. So I'm going to put it in my trolley. And then this one, photograph of flowers. I I wouldn't make a garment out of this but i think it's super pretty i have a lot of pink linen i'm planning to make things with and this would be an amazing contrast fabric to put inside to just make it mine personal <laughs> i just can't take my eyes off these flowers so i think i'm gonna go for this one this was another one that i like also i like the combination of the petroleum type blue with the turquoise and the reddish tones i think it's pretty i would just have to be careful with these round flowers and the apex it's something you always have to be aware of at least i am let's look at modern patterns i like this one this is a polka dot with uh, golden little specks but they're not uniform they're not all the same color i think that's pretty okay so i really like this this is black and it's got little golden spots but they're not all the same color i think this is really pretty i'd make a simple top out of this what else do we have here ha, look at this <laughs> apples then there was a whole section of arabesque type prints 
paisleys I suppose okay this is one I really liked I think this is really pretty it's got a navy blue background I always love that and I love the tones and the print and I think this could be a nice top just a simple top something solid on the bottom I I'm gonna put that one in the trolley there's also this one I found that is really colorful I think this would be amazing inside clothes I have a quite a bit of navy things to make I think this would just be stunning inside some garments so I'm gonna click on this one as well so I'm just gonna have a bit more fun looking at my trolley I have quite a few items here I'm only looking at purchasing a meter maximum for each that's all I need to make a simple top or a pencil skirt I'm looking at simple garments here if I like something a whole lot then I might get one and a half meters that is the maximum I would get I'll have another little quick browse through now I'm gonna have to make my decisions and purchase and patience because I have to wait for shipping which takes six working days which is a bit you know I just got back home with my husband from doing some errands and there's a little happy mail see that little box right there it's full of cotton fabrics that I ordered a few days ago so I'm super excited to see them I just saw these online chose the prints I just run upstairs to my filming room and open this up can't wait to see them see how they feel how they actually look because it's you never know when you buy online, right? So I got quite a bit. You know, what I showed you browsing there was just a bit. I don't want to bore you with hours of me browsing. I did actually spend quite a bit of time on that website. And by the way, just to clarify, I'm just sharing where I bought them in Brazil. I'm not affiliated, not sponsored. They don't even know who I am. I have a teeny amount of Brazilian viewers right here in this channel, very few. So I'm just sharing my experience. My aim is not to sell you fabric on this channel. I'm never promoting brands or fabric shops or linking to my fabrics. And that's because I live in Brazil in a different context. If you live in another country, you can't just buy fabrics from here. They do not ship internationally. And even to complete the purchase, you need to have a Brazilian ID tax number which I'm sure you don't have unless you're living here legally. I'm just showing you examples and maybe you get an idea of prints and colors and what I look for in garment sewing, but I'm not trying to sell you fabric, okay? <laughs> this is your classic fabric core. <laughs> I'm not pairing these types of fabrics to patterns in this video, otherwise it would end up being a super, super long video, but the next one you'll see will be all about the patterns I've chosen to make with these fabrics, any of them. I took my time to research, so that is coming, that will be practical for you if you have some. I did make a video a few days ago where I talked about quilting cotton and the items I'd made in the past. Most of those were self-drafted patterns, so I want to bring you something that's really going to work for you if you're not into self-drafting, if you want to use actual patterns. I didn't get all of these for garments, I got a few of them to use inside garments. But this is one that you saw me looking at online that I got to make a simple top with. It's so lovely, the black is so vibrant and the polka dots with the golden tones are so pretty. Why I like this polka dot is because it's got different sizes of the dots and they're not too symmetrical. So yeah, I really love it. I think with a, with a fabric like this, I can do princess seams and have quite a few cut lines in the design and you wouldn't really see them. These fabrics are this brand called Henata Blanco. That's the website and the quality is just top, top notch. I would say they cost about double what other more popular quilting cottons cost. So they are digital prints. It's white, you know, fabric printed black with the gold. I love the weave and the softness. It's very beautiful. So here's another one I found. Now I say I don't like checks or plaids, but this is an exception. These checks are small. So this is an exception and I will make garments with this. Picturing some type of shorts, I think that would be really nice. I don't have to worry about pattern matching in that detail. I mean, I'm still going to pattern match them. But if I'm off by a millimeter, it won't be that noticeable as to when you're using really huge checks or plaids. So purple and black, I could not pass. For most of these, I just got one meter, which is just over a yard. Here is another polka dot. Now, I got this polka dot. It's your classic polka dot <laughs> to use inside garments for yokes, inner waistband, pocket bags, that sort of thing. So I think it's cute, but not as cute as that other gold one, which I find nicer for like garments. This is one that I got that is a lighter tone. It's a white fabric. It's so soft. Oh my gosh. It's very little drape as you can see. I love the tones of grey and beige and black and white. It's so pretty. It's got rose roses on them. So it is a floral but a very subdued floral. I think this would be really nice as 
a top, a shirt actually. I would make a shirt with this one with sleeves and a collar and everything. It would look really nice over black pants or gray pants or any color really because this is sort of like a neutral. So I got two meters of this so I, I know I'm going to have enough. This is one I showed you when I was shopping online. Look at this. I think it's just so, so, so pretty. This is not red. So the main color right there, it's a terracotta. And I've got a pair of pants I've made out of linen with that color, a pair of Allegro pants. I think a top would look beautiful with this. So for me, at least with the size that I sew and the width of this fabric, which is full width, I can get a shirt with short sleeves. Now, I know in the States and other countries, quilting cotton comes in a narrow width fabric, usually 45 inches. I know that is a common type of width you find in the USA. Let me tell you, here in the Southern Hemisphere, if you find any fabric that's that narrow, you would feel scammed, like people do not, they do not sell narrow fabrics. All the fabrics are 56 inches at least. They are pretty wide fabrics, that's why I can get away with sewing a simple top with short sleeves with a meter. Let's look at another very nice print, this is so amazing. It looks nicer than what I saw online. Remember online, I was just seeing like the digital design of it, but not the actual photo of the fabric. So it's just as vibrant, just as pretty. Oh my gosh, this would look amazing with navy pants. If I'm gonna make such a loud top like this, I'm gonna wear it with something very dark and very, very basic on the bottom. I could also make a skirt out of this, a pencil skirt, and then wear a solid color on top. So who knows? I'm just thinking out loud here. So this next one is similar. Very busy in the print. It's got paisley, it's got navy blue background. I always love navy blue backgrounds. This is one that you saw me shopping for online. <laughs> and it's so, oh, oh my gosh, I'm just so, I'm just smiling right now. So this is one I found, but I didn't show you that when I was shopping. I'm actually tempted to go back to the site and get a little more because I just got one meter. So it's got a stripe feature going down, it's got flowers. I mean, it's, it's not stripes, I'm saying the print is sort of vertical in the way it's being printed. It's amazing. Here we have another black and white one. Hope it focuses, there we go. Here we can see this type of print. With this one, I wouldn't want to have like center back seams or princess seams. I would just keep it really basic and just have bastards. Because of the print, I wouldn't want to break it up that much. Okay, remember I showed you one that looked like a photograph of flowers? So pretty in person. So I didn't get much of this one. I only got half a meter. It's very small. And I'm going to use this to line something pink that I make. A yoke something because I have quite a bit of pink linen and I have some pink things that I want to make up and this would look so nice inside. Look at this, just amazing. Love it so much. Uh, this is one I had shown you. It's even nicer in person. I think the red is a nicer tone than what I could see online. It's gorgeous. It's so beautiful. I mean, it's a little Christmassy, let's be honest. Red and green. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so soft. So, you know, if you want to use quilting cotton for garments, I recommend you shop around and look for ones that are really good quality, that are really soft, higher thread count, I suppose, a tighter weave. It just makes a big difference. I got this one because it's lightweight. It's a print that I don't know if I would want to make for garments, maybe, but if I want to line something, lining a jacket, I think this would be appropriate to line the body of a jacket. Maybe the sleeves, I would want something slippery. So I got more yardage out of this one. This one was sort of discounted as well. It was cheaper than the others. That's why I got much more than I got with the others. Same as this one here. I would definitely not make a garment with this type of print. Yeah, it's way too much for a garment, but I would definitely use it inside of a jacket as a lining. So that's what it's for. Also pocket bags and bias tape and all those things that I use these types of fabrics for. This one, you also saw me looking at it online it's so so pretty oh my gosh this is like if you make a simple garment out of this it's like you're wearing a painting so stunning and i have a top in that color i have a cadence top in that color i would match this to either navy or that turquoise if i made this into a skirt so amazing love it i'm just so happy right now this one is one i was really excited to see when i saw it there it looked like denim so it looks like it's been embroidered onto denim i have seen fabrics like that that are super expensive but this is just printed and it's flat love the colors and i had chosen this butterfly print that didn't look like actual butterflies it just looked like a bunch of like butterfly wings stacked on top of each other it's a bit weird if you think about it <laughs> but it looks like some type of animal print so it doesn't look like leopard or any of that but it's butterfly wings and i think it's really really interesting 
really different. I've never seen anything like it. These last two that I, I, I kept them on the side here for a reason. I found these two on the site. I'm not sure what they're for because they had 2% elastane in the blend. So 98% cotton, 2% spandex. And I like having stretch cotton like this that is lightweight for pocket bags when I make things out of stretch wovens. So if you have stretch jeans or anything you're using a stretch woven with and you want to do something inside with it, I want it to also stretch. So let's see how much it stretches. Yeah, it's, it's quite nice. It's got a nice amount of stretch. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect. So for example, I never want to use this type of cotton that stretches nothing inside garments that require stretch. You know, when your outer layers are in a stretch denim or a stretch cotton twill or something, stretch sateen, cotton sateen. If I'm going to use a different fabric inside, I want it to also stretch. Especially pocket bags, I think they should stretch also. So this is perfect. The print is pretty horrendous in my opinion. I mean, it's navy blue and everything. But look at those, ah, there's like these leopards there and these like lizards in orange. I think that is pretty horrendous. But for something that's going to go inside and where I want the function of the stretch, I think that is a minor detail because I do like the navy and I do like the colors. So I'm just going to ignore that there's leopards in there. I just don't like prints where there's animals and leopards and stuff. I just don't. And then I found another one, it's the same type of fabric but a different print, something I wouldn't typically choose either. But I think it's acceptable to use inside and it's like this. It's white with these types of prints, grey, navy and mustard. Mustard is not a colour I can wear, it doesn't suit me at all. I would not make a garment out of this but inside something it would be amazing and it's got that stretch. So I'm happy. Oh my gosh, I've got such a mess down here. I just wanted to share my shopping experience and what I received. I'm just so happy. I'm just happy I wasn't disappointed with any of them. They turned out better than I expected. Like when you see online, you never know. And I already knew the quality was there. I just needed to see how the colors were and they're just so, so nice, so vibrant. And yeah, I'm just really inspired right now by those prints. I think fabric usually inspires me quite a lot. And from having four pieces of quilting cotton in my stash, now I have quite a bit more. And I know I have a good variety now when I'm inspired and I can just go and pick. I'm going to pre-treat them as soon as I can, serge the edges, get them washed and fold them away in my collection so they're nice and neat, ready to go for when I want to sew with them. So I will have a separate video for you where I've chosen a bunch of patterns that I think would work perfect with quilting cotton. I think they would pair beautifully. So look out for that one, it'll be separate. Otherwise, this one would be like an hour long and who wants to watch a whole hour, you know? That's all from me now. See you soon. Bye. Happy sewing.